Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome everyone to Bedtime Stories. I hope you've all had a fantastic evening. And have you brushed your teeth? Very good. Are you comfortable in your pyjamas? Excellent. So let's see what story I'm going to read for you today. Now the one that I've chosen for you today is called Happiness Tastes Like Cotton Candy. Hmm, I wonder what cotton candy tastes like. I bet you know, do you eat a lot of candy? How are you feeling today? Happy? Excited? Playful? How many are you feeling excited today? I know I'm feeling excited. How about playful? Or I think not playful because it's time to calm down and get ready for bed. How about happy? Are you happy to be joining me for bedtime stories? I'm really happy that you're joining me for bedtime stories. There are so many words to express our different emotions. Now just imagine if you could taste your emotions too. Different emotions we have in our feelings, don't we? Like we could feel happy, we could feel sad. Now just imagine if you could taste your emotions. Does anybody know what their emotions could taste like? What do you think it would taste like? Should we find out? Let's see what it says in this book. Happiness. Happiness tastes like cotton candy. Mm, I know I would like cotton candy and that would definitely make me happy. I hope you're not eating cotton candy now before bed. It tastes light, sweet and fluffy. It definitely does. How many of us have been to a fun fair and we've tried the cotton candy, the pink ones, the blue ones, the orange ones? There's so many different flavours now, isn't there? You don't have too much. Cotton candy, it makes me want to twirl in a circle. It makes me want to dance. I know I like to dance after I have cotton candy. How about you? Do you like to have a little dance after you've had a little cotton candy or sweets? What makes happiness? What would make happiness taste like to you? What does it taste like to you in your mouth? So if you're really happy, how do you feel? What would it taste like to you? Can you tell me? Wow, that's fantastic. Let's see what else there is. Courageous. Who knows what courageous is? Can you be courageous? Courageous tastes like eggplant. Who knows what an eggplant is? Some people call it aubergine. It's, it's a purple kind of vegetable. Maybe you might not like it. Not a lot of children like eggplants. It tastes strong, thick and tough. Are you strong? Are you thick, thick skin and tough? Like an um, eggplant? Shall I show you so you see what it looks like? That's an eggplant. You might have seen your mummy cook it in, your, in one of your meals. It is quite nice actually. You should try it if you haven't. Courageous, it makes me feel confident. It makes me feel I can conquer the world. What would courageous taste like to you? So if you're feeling courageous, how does it make you feel? Does it make you feel like you could conquer the world? You could be a leader, you could be an aspiration, you could be the head of your year in your school, or maybe you could earn house points for your class. That's what courageous could mean. Excitement. This is one of my favourite ones. Who likes feeling excited and excitement? Excitement tastes like wild watermelon. It's juicy, tangy and zesty. How many of you have tasted watermelon? And do you feel it's juicy, tangy and zesty? And does it make you feel excited? Watermelon is one of my favourite fruits in the summer and it's so juicy. We're so blessed, it's got so much juice inside. 
It really fulfills your thirst, doesn't it? That's quite exciting. It makes me want to jump up and down. It makes me want to shout out loud. What would excitement taste like to you? How about next time you have a bit of watermelon and see what it makes you feel like? Maybe you might be shouting and jumping up and down, but not too much, not before bed. <clears throat> anticipation. Who knows what anticipation means? Do you know? Very good. Anticipation tastes like atomic tangerine. Tangerine is like an orange. It's, it's another, another version of an orange. I think it's a little bit more sweeter. It is luscious and moist and flavorful. It definitely is. How many, how many of you like oranges and tangerines? They're very similar, but just slightly sweeter. If you haven't tried it, you should try it. It's so nice. It makes me feel like tapping my feet. Tap, tap, tap. It makes me keep checking the time. What would anticipation taste like to you? So anticipation is like waiting. When you're waiting for something to happen or when you're waiting for the evening so you can brush your teeth, put your pajamas on and watch bedtime stories with me. Anticipation. Oh, playful. This is one of my favorites too. Is it one of your favorites? Do you like playing all day? And how does it make you feel? Let's see how playful feels in this story. Playful tastes like pink sherbet. It's cool and tingly and crisp. Wow, that sounds amazing. It makes me want to laugh. It makes me want to run in the park. What would playful taste like to you? What do you do when you feel playful? How do you feel? And what do you taste? Maybe you could have some sherbet, pink sherbet. It's like little tiny, small sweets. And you put it in your mouth, it tingles up and it crackles and it makes a sound. Try it and see how you feel when you eat the sherbet. <clears throat> Joyful. Joyful is also another word or another feeling we can use to express our happiness or how we're feeling inside us. Joyful tastes like banana mania. It's soft and warm and satisfying. How many of us like bananas? I love bananas. Bananas is good food and it's healthy too. Did you know it's also one of your five a day? Very good. It makes me feel like singing. I'm not a very good singer. Can you sing? It makes me want to shout from the rooftops. What would joyful taste like to you? How about next time you eat a banana and see if you can sing and see if you can shout from the rooftops. Calm. Who knows what calm is? Calm is what we do is when we relax, when we are calming down, winding down and getting ready to go to bed. That's called calm. Are you calm? Calm tastes like peach. It's mild and delicious and soft. Oh, I think I agree with that. Peaches are very delicious. They're very soft, but they're so tasty, aren't they? After I've had a peach, I feel so relaxed and calm. How about you taste a peach and see if you feel calm? Each bite melts in my mouth, soothes me. It makes me want to take a deep breath and relax. What would calm taste like to you? What kind of fruits would make you feel calm? You could try it next time, couldn't you? Try all your favorite fruits and see which one makes you feel calm. Kindness. 
Now, this is a very important one. Kindness. Who knows what kindness means? Very good. How many of us are kind? Are we kind every day? Are we kind sometimes? Are we kind to our, our little brothers and sisters and our friends? Kindness. Kindness tastes like macaroni. Macaroni and cheese, who knows what that is? It's those small little pastas and you mix it with <clears throat> a cheese and some other little um, ingredients and it becomes mac and cheese. Kindness tastes like macaroni and cheese. It is tasty, cozy and soothing. It makes me feel cared for. It makes me feel good inside. What would kindness taste like to you? Macaroni is really warm. And when I'm really hungry, macaroni fills me up and it makes me feel so happy. How about you try macaroni next time and see how it makes you feel? Surprise. Who knows what surprise tastes like? If you had a surprise, what would it taste like to you? Would it taste juicy? Would it taste delicious? Would it taste tangy? Would it be soft? Let's see what surprise tastes like. Surprise tastes like wild strawberries. Mm, strawberries, definitely. It is a burst of rich spiciness. It makes me want to gasp. It makes my eyes widen. What would surprise taste like to you? Now, strawberries are very juicy. It definitely, definitely is a surprise. Cheerful. Who knows what cheerful is? Cheerful is also another word of happiness, joyful, cheerful. Let's see what cheerful tastes like. Cheerful tastes like Granny Smith apples. Well, that's a nice way to describe it. Granny Smith apples are quite tangy, I think. And I guess they are a bit cheerful. Do you like Granny Smith green apples? They are juicy, aren't they? It tastes crunchy, fresh, and refreshing. Oh, definitely. I definitely agree with that. It's definitely refreshing. What makes me feel like smiling? It makes me want to hug my friend. What would cheerful taste like to you? That's amazing. A green apple. Yummy. You can even feel different emotions at the same time. Did you know that? Do you sometimes um, feel sad, but then at the same time you can feel happy? Do you feel a bit confused? Like, why am I feeling sad and happy at the same time? It's okay, it's just different emotions that you can feel together. And it's all right to feel that. What colors are you tasting today. These feelings were brought to you using colours listed below, but you can use any colours you like. Have fun and use your imagination. Now children, do you think you can get your pencil case and just for five minutes select lots of colours that you like and draw a picture and choose that the colour that reflects your emotion, how you feel. Do you feel happy? Do you feel sad? Do you feel joyful? Do you feel cheerful? You can use the colours to express. A bright colour could perhaps express how happy you feel. A darker colour could express maybe you're feeling a little bit sad or a bit down. You can draw any picture you like. Just have an experiment and see how you feel and put your feelings to paper with colours. It could be cotton candy, it could be an eggplant, it could be a wild watermelon, it could be an atomic tangerine, 
It could be a pink sherbet, a banana mania, a peach, macaroni and cheese, wild strawberries, Granny Smith apples. You could choose either of those or you could choose anything you like, completely up to you, whichever fruit you like that describes best how you feel. Give it a try and see. Well, now we've come to the end of our programme. Thank you so much for joining me today for Bedtime Stories and I hope you enjoyed it. And what emotion are you feeling after the story? I know I feel really happy. I feel really calm and really relaxed. How are you feeling? Fantastic. Now, I hope you've all brushed your teeth and you're ready for bed. Have a good night. See you next time. Assalamu alaikum.